I, along with most Americans yesterday, celebrated Mother's Day with my wife, my daughter, and my grandchildren to express our appreciation for what mothers over the world have done uh, in order to help our community. But in America, we have taken action to help women uh, in this country. And I'm referring to the passage of the Affordable Care Act that has helped childbearing women and childbearing uh, throughout uh, the child's life to the mother and to the family. So let me just give you some examples, because I think it's, a, it's good to point out when we've made progress and to celebrate uh, what we have done to help women in America. We have taken on the arbitrary practices of private insurance companies that discriminated against women, against pregnant women, and against mothers. A woman now can choose her own OBGYN doctor as her primary care doctor, no longer having to wait for authorization or to get a referral in order to have an OBGYN. Uh, you have the absolute right to choose your own primary care doctor, including your OBGYN. Under the Affordable Care Act, every woman in America is guaranteed a well woman visit annually to be able to assess uh, their health care to get mammography screenings, pap smears, diabetes testings, and other preventive screening services at no cost. That's all provided in the Affordable Care Act. So a woman can take care of her own health care needs by preventive health care, many cases avoiding much more costly and disabilitating uh, care. And again, this is at no cost, so that uh, there is no reason why a woman cannot take advantage of these services. HPV DNA testing every three years uh, to deal with the sexual health of women is now provided under the Affordable Care Act. STI counseling and HIV screening for sexually active women available under the Affordable Care Act. This is now guaranteed. You don't have to look, go look at the fine print of your insurance policy to see whether you have coverage. In most cases, you didn't have coverage. You don't have to wait for authorization uh, that you have to show a need. These are given rights that are now available to every woman in America under the Affordable uh, Care Act. No longer can pregnancy be considered a pre-existing condition. Before the passage of a, the Affordable Care Act, you wanted to get an insurance policy. Well, they excluded childbirth for the first perhaps nine months or later. It was a, considered a pre-existing condition. Well, we now have a seamless system. So women can get the type of care that they need. Why does that become so important? So they can get the necessary prenatal care in order to keep their, their baby healthy, to get the type of tests that are necessary. Pregnant women can get gestation diabetes screening to see whether they're at high risk. If they're at high risk, they can get the type of treatment that they need in order to make sure that their baby is born as healthy as possible. Prenatal care is available. And it is covered. And we now have, through the Affordable Care Act, a provision that we added that provides support for the qualified health centers. I have visited qualified health centers in Maryland that are now providing prenatal care that wasn't there before. It's not only that we're providing coverage, we're providing access to care so that we can reduce low birth weight babies in our community. Look at the numbers. Look at the numbers of, of infant survival. Look at the numbers of low birth weight babies. We are improving those numbers daily because of the Affordable Care Act to be able to prevent and discover complications during pregnancy, including uh, preterm uh, uh, outcomes. All of that has been available. We can, you have access to folic acid, which is a availability to make sure that you have a healthier fetus and birth. All of that is now available under the Affordable Care Act. We help newborns and their mothers. Uh, breastfeeding has been proven to be a very strong part of, of, of a healthy uh, infancy for, for, for a baby. Well, there are certain needs that a, that a mother has, including having time in order to breastfeed, in order the cost of breastfeeding, including breast pumps. That's now covered under the Affordable Care Act. You know, we, we've, we understand that we can keep people healthier. And this is why we call it a, a wellness program. 
No longer is insurance just to take care of your illness or your injury. It's to keep you healthy. And for women particularly, we didn't do a, pretty good, didn't do a good job for, for many years. We now are making up for it in the Affordable Care Act, making a huge difference. And we're giving peace of mind to women all over this country about having adequate third-party coverage so they can afford to take care of their own health and the health of their families. Adult children can remain on your insurance policy to age 26. I know we've all received so many letters from our constituents saying, thank goodness we had that provision. You know, my 24-year-old never thought she would get ill. Now she has this insurance coverage and we can take care of her, keep her healthy. And when she needs health care, it's available thanks to the Affordable Care Act. Millions of Americans today have quality, affordable health insurance as a result of the Affordable Care Act that didn't have it before. Peace of mind. Having an insurance card, I got a letter from one of my constituents saying what it felt like to have an insurance card in their hand, knowing that that meant as a ticket to take care of her health and the health of her family. No longer can you discriminate, can an insurance company discriminate in rating against women. Huge deal how the discriminatory rates were aimed against women. Well, we've eliminated that under the Affordable Care Act. We've eliminated pre-existing condition restrictions. I already talked about it about pregnancy, but it was amazing how women particularly were discriminated against because of pre-existing conditions where they couldn't get full coverage to take care of all their needs. That's over, including with their children. How many families told us that they had a child with asthma and they couldn't get full coverage? Now you get full coverage, thanks to the Affordable Care Act. Peace of mind, adequate coverage to take care of their needs. Uh, we have ended the caps on health insurance. No longer do you have to worry about, well, should I do this or not? Will I hit my, my annual limit or my lifetime limit? They're gone. If you need the insurance, it's there to protect you. That's what it should be that you can protect you and your family. So we made a huge difference. Uh, one of the provisions I'm particularly proud about is a prudent layperson for emergency care. Can't tell you how many times we had circumstances where people needed to go to the emergency room because they had true, thought they had a true emergency, Your chest pain, sweating, to go to an emergency room. The good news was they didn't have a heart attack. The bad news is they get a bill from their insurance company telling them that because they didn't have a heart attack, they got to pay this bill. That's over. We've now legislated the prudent layperson standard so that if it was right for you to go and seek urgent care, the insurance company must cover that visit for urgent care. And I can just go on and list so many, many other ways that we've helped all the people in this country, but particularly our women, what we've done. So that it's easier for them, it's tough enough to give birth to a baby and to raise a child. We've made it easier and taken away some of the, the burdens in regards to our health care system. So um, this past Sunday when we celebrated Mother's Day, we also could point to a very tangible accomplishment that this Congress has been able to deliver for all the mothers in our, in our country. And I was proud to be part of, of making that happen a reality in our country.